Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Davine and I homeschool for kids ages 10 to 14. So today I'm just going to give you a look of some of the books that we use for coding in our homeschool. These are mostly used by my currently 11 year old daughter who really is into coding and things like that. So she uses these primarily on her own, but I'm just going to give you a look inside. So I have five coding books to show you today. So I'm going to be flipping the camera around and giving you a look inside of each of these books so that you have a better idea of what each of these books are like. Before I get started, I will be linking in the description box below a link to all of these resources in case you want to take a look further into those. Okay, so I have five books here to show you. I'm going to go through coding projects in Scratch, Coder Academy, this is an s book. 100 Things to Know About Numbers, Computers, and Coding, another Esborn book, DK Workbooks, Coding in Scratch, Games Workbook, and Lift the Flap, Computers and Coding. I'm actually going to start with this one because I think this is a good sort of foundation and starting point for learning about computers and coding. It may say Lift the Flap, but I think it just explains things in a way that is very easy to understand. So it talks about what is a computer, what is coding, and as you can see, these are all lift the flap answers here. There's what's inside a computer. Okay, how computers think. So we use this page when we were trying to figure out binary numbers. Um, another book was talking about binary numbers and we didn't get it. So we came here for an explanation and it explained in a way that we could understand what binary numbers are. Okay, giving instructions. Computer language, starting from scratch, creating better code, using the internet, and history of computers. So that book is very introductory to computers and coding. I think it gives a really great start, great introduction. All right, next I'm gonna take a look at Coder Academy. Okay, so it has little things that you can push out. I'm not having her do that because I want to save it for other kids too. So this is more of a book that you would write in. So welcome to Coder Academy. Meet the coders. So it looks like different kinds of people who use coding. What is coding? Think like a coder. Binary basics. So here is where it was talking about binary numbers and I couldn't really understand it, so we looked at the other book. Computer languages, start from scratch, so talking about how to use the program scratch. We use the program scratch a lot. My daughter does it in her free time. The other program that we use is code.org. It's a really great program that will bring you through the steps of how to learn how to code. It has a lot of logic puzzles and things like that. It's, it's really been lots of fun. Maybe I'll do a video on it sometime. Okay, plotting coordinates, code coordinates, step by step, make a sprite dance, variables, flow charts. All right, so there's lots of stuff in here. I think it's a great um, resource for maybe guiding the, the learning because each of these is sort of one activity or one thing to learn building web pages and HTML. So this would be a good starting off point on how to go about learning how to code. So she has really enjoyed that book. Okay, next I have Coding in Scratch. She's had this one for a while. This is learning how to make games. So she has made games and she used this to learn how to make, how to make the games in Scratch. So meet Scratch, exploring Scratch, Fishball. So it tells you the code to build the games. So all of this is the code for building that. So it takes quite a bit to build a game, as you would expect. Ghost Hunt. Rapid Reaction. 
Melon Bounce. Okay, and I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think that this DK has several coating things, so this would be the games one. They probably have some other ones, other kinds of coating books, I'm guessing. All right, next we have, let's do this one, Coding Projects in Scratch, another one that she's had a while. And let's see, Table of Contents. Okay, so here's the Table of Contents. What is coding, getting started, art, games, simulations, music and sound, mind benders, and what's next? And I will say that through using these books, my daughter is very much of a self-starter. She does things and she figures things out. So she definitely knows more about coding than I do. But she has been working on coding for several years and she can do quite a bit in Scratch. So she really enjoys getting on there and just being creative. She's very creative. So she has been really enjoying it. But this looks like a little more detailed type of book that shows how to do a lot of different things in Scratch. And if you don't know, Scratch is a completely free coding program. So just go to scratch.com and you can get your child started on that. So this is the last one. It's more of an information book or just little tidbits about numbers, computers, and coding. So 100 things to know about numbers, computers, and coding. So it just goes through day one, day two. So different information about coding. So I don't know if she uses this much, probably not. I would say this would be a good thing maybe for your morning basket. If you wanted to focus on computers that year, computers and internet and stuff that year, you could put it in your morning basket and just read a page every day or your child can just browse, browse through it. So that is what that one looks like. This is from Usborne. And I probably mentioned it, but I will link all of these things below, as well as a link to Scratch and Code.org. Scratch is more of an open play, figure out coding sort of area, whereas Code.org is more of a structured lesson type program that teaches your kids, takes your kids step by step through the process of coding and learning how to code. So those are the five books that we have for coding in our home. I hope that's helpful and lets you know which ones you might want to get for your own homeschool. Thanks so much for coming today and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.